suppose we could even um, go to this and rotate that around and put it up there and we might just end up with a little more space. Okay, so um, now what we can do is we can draw some stuff on here by going into texture paint mode and um, in editing buttons here's your panel with all your options and stuff. Okay. But if we go in here and we'll choose black, make sure your fall off is at full because otherwise you'll end up with um, basically that dark grayish outlines around your black lines. Um, you'll still end up with a little bit but not as much if you turn the fall up all the way up. Um, so oops, I'm just gonna zoom in here and add a smiley face. Turn the opacity up first and then draw a smiley face. Um, pretty good and uh, we'll just make him a happy guy <laughs> um, yeah so that's good for that and what we're going to do now is just turn the size down and we're going to draw some other details just little things like um, his fingers in here um, you can use external programs like um, uh, Photoshop's a real good one, and um, GIMP and stuff to do these textures. But um, because not everyone has those, uh, we should use for this tutorial an internal one. draw like a stitch line around him because I thought that might look cool. Uh, yeah, just down at the next, good. Um, so yeah, so um, you can do as much or as little details as you like. You can add maybe hairs or something. What we can do is then go in here and we will add another texture. So um, go to the second one, add new texture, it's an image again and um, just make sure in object mode it sort of then saves the texture and you can go image um, save as um, and go to desktop and just make sure you save it because um, sometimes it screws up and then it deletes the, the thing off it and you end up getting real pissed off at it so um, yeah be good to, to do that um, then use alpha and if you turn on the alpha thing here you can see what the actual image is which is the one up there but it's the, the grey background is see through because we set the alpha to zero in the beginning so yeah so then we go back in here and um, if we go to input UV we should now see on this ball some of the, the lines and um, yeah, so now if we press F12 to render, and I bring the renderer within the screen, I have two screens, so it um, shows it on another screen. And um, that looks um, acceptable, I think. Um, but we need to do some more lighting, so I'm just going to do some quick lighting. Just um, space, add lamp, sun lamp. Um, sun lamps are sort of the best because they. Um, just cover all your bases kind of thing, space, add, lamp, sun lamp, they don't actually need to be on any particular side or something because they shine through no matter what, but um, yeah, lamp, sun lamp, okay, so now if I press F12 to render, um, da -da -da, he's much more luminous, um, I don't think he should be that shiny though, so I will turn down the shininess by going in here and then going to uh, oh, making sure we select the character obviously um, then go in here and turn spectacality down um, so I think that is our winning ticket there um, he looks pretty uh, adequate and stuff so what we're going to do now is we're going to um, just we're going to um, render it onto a um, things so that we can then play use it in the game engine. For that we need another texture, another um, image. So add new image, 
Um, turn the alpha up again. It doesn't really matter, but it'd be best if it's up. And um, change the color to sort of a mid gray tone, dark gray tone, sort of the kind of thing you wouldn't notice it if it if the um, texture was slightly off the UV, because sometimes it is. Um, so yeah, just gotta be worried about that. And this will be our uh, UV. Um, okay, so accept that, and then what we'll do is we will. Um, make sure our character is selected and go in here and render uh, Blender render meshes and full render and um, this generally takes a while so I'll probably just skip it in time so, um, it's done but um, for some reason it didn't have our face on it and stuff but um, no worries, we just draw it on now. So this is the front side here, and we can just go um, texture paint mode, and we'll just draw a face in now. I think it's a little dark, but um, you, know, you can play with that later on, I suppose. Uh, turn up the this a bit. Okay, so something like that. Um, so that's all good now. And um, now that we've got all of that finished, um, we can now, if we press P to play in the game engine, you'll notice that he is half the man. So um, we will just finish this tutorial by applying the um, yeah, mirror modifier. Cool, so um, thanks for watching, and I hope this was helpful and informative, and um, uh, keep an eye out for the next tutorial in the series, um, where we rig our character, and then um, finally animate him, and check him in our game. Um, um, okay, well, so I found I had plenty of time left after this tutorial, so I thought I'd show you guys um, one of my favorite haunts on the internet, um, that is uh, BlenderUnderground.com. Um, it's a really great forum, there's a whole bunch of real fun people there and um, a real helpful too like you can ask questions in um, their questions forum thing and um, you get answered almost instantly by um, there's some real smart people on there, people smarter than me um, just really love hanging out as well, good atmosphere and all that kind of stuff so if you want to come check it out it's a good idea the um, the address is blenderunderground.com slash forums um, so yeah come check it out there's some fun challenges you can participate in and you can uh, show off all your your favorite renders and all that and get feedback and uh, so yeah so really great atmosphere and uh, come check it out